All right, look out. It is uh, Faith Talk Live. I'm Rick Probst. And I'm Dan Ratcliffe. Always I'm Jason amazing. Fowler. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you keep that up, we're going to have to put you on the payroll. So you, I, you I really need can't it. do that. <laughs> hey, Jason Fowler, a singer-songwriter there. Looks like in your yard. How's the, the weather where you are? It is wonderful. As a matter of fact, I'm enjoying nature right now. I mean, we need vitamin D, and mm -hmm. hopefully the, the clouds will open up and, uh, you know, heaven will rain down the sunshine. Well, you know, Dan has been feeling puny for a long time. So as soon as he uh, got on the beach, he just looks amazing. Don't I look? He does. Good? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's pretty windy out there. It, it is, but my hair's not blowing, as you can see. So it's good. <laughs> Jason Fowler. So, Jason, let's talk a little bit about what's going on. And no surprise, uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic here. We're socially isolated. I'm going to assume that your schedule just kind of came to a halt. What, 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 what's going on with you guys? Yeah, I mean, I uh, can't really tour a lot. So what we've been doing is more or less, uh, I've been doing some Facebook live streams. I'm going to actually do one uh, tonight. I did one last week and then the week before and uh, on my Jason Fowler music page. But um, just a way to connect. You know, I know we can't physically connect with each other, but we can spiritually connect and we can fellowship that way. And so with this COVID-19 thing, you know, um, two greatest commandments, love God and love others. It's very important for us to stay connected with each other. I've talked to a lot of friends. I've called up and said, hey, what's going on? I hadn't talked to you in a minute. You know, use the phone to do that. Use technology. It's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. I love that we can do this Zoom meeting together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, Jason, I've been keeping up with uh, you through Facebook and Instagram and your beautiful family. You post pictures of your boys. How, <laughs> how are they handling all this and the, the rest of the family? Well, you know, uh, they're enjoying the time that we get to spend all together. And so we actually um, play hide and seek a lot. Mm -hmm. we, uh, we get out in the little uh, baby pool my, my parents bought for uh, my youngest. We, they both just had birthdays, uh, my two-year-old and my four-year-old. And mm -hmm. then also... Um, my 19 year old now Maddox, but we've been doing a lot of just um, fellowship with each other and uh, enjoying the time and trying to just hold on to those moments that God's given us with each other, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, you just did a project not too long ago, and some of your stuff is out. Have you been inspired to write anything uh, right now uh, while you're kind of on hiatus? Yeah, I think the moments and the memories that are happening right now, and none of us have ever seen this before, you know, um, that I know of in our lifetime, this is something new for everybody. And I, I think that what's happening, too, is people are are, are forced to um, really come down to what really matters. And so that, yeah, the the moments when I'm thinking about family and and how much, you know, God takes care of the birds, um, how much more is he going to take care of us, you know, and also he talks about how um, he said, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. It's fear is so rampant everywhere in the media mm -hmm. and, and everything. And people get scared. And um, Jesus said, take heart. I've overcome the world. So yeah, there's a lot of different um, ideas that are going on in my head uh, as far as for new songs. And I'm actually going to be putting out a, another single here pretty soon and another um, full length album at some point this year. Hmm. Now we got uh, Easter coming up, Jason. What are you and the family going to do for Easter? Obviously, we can't do like we normally do, going to church and, and being with other people. What are you guys going to do? Well, first thing my wife said, uh, we're going to get up sunrise and we're going to come out in the middle of uh, the yard and we're going to look up and we're going to take communion hmm. and thank God for the resurrection. Thank God for him laying down his life for us, each one of us. And then we're going to spend the day with the kids. We're going to um, do our normal daily devotionals. And then we're going to come out in the yard and do an Easter egg hunt. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. Singer-songwriter Jason Fowler uh, in his backyard there. It's good to see his face. And uh, if you haven't heard his music, uh, check it out. He may do a tune for us here in just a second. Before, <laughs> before, you, before you do uh, a tune, uh, Jason, now you and your wife are very, very strong, have a passion to serve those that are homeless uh, have you been able to do that or have you just kind of kept your distance because of, of COVID? Uh, well, right at the end of, uh, February, um, actually it was end of uh, March this past month, we, we do a, a special outreach at safe house outreach, um, in Atlanta with hearts across Atlanta, which is my wife and, uh, our, our homeless ministry. And so we were able to go out there and it was right at the moment where everybody was kind of panicking and, and there was a lot of uh, 
uncertainty as to how we're supposed to handle this. And, you know, we were like, should we go? Should we not go? And we went out there and took the precautions that were needed. And it was a great time. The music um, just brought joy to people, but mainly just the fact that we showed up, you know, and I, I know it was right before the uh, mandate for us to stay at home. So we were able to go out there and we wore um, protective gear and everything like that as far as, you know, washing our hands and gloves and everything like that. We didn't hug anybody, but we spent time with each other and with the people out there who have no place to go. Mm. You know, we're all at home right now. Some of them don't even have a place to sleep. And, mm. and for us, um, I thought, you know what, let's do this. So we went out and uh, the next one actually, um, we've got to talk. It's a, the third Sunday of every month in Atlanta. And, um, so we've got to talk to Safe House about um, what they're doing now, but I believe that they're going to let a certain number of people in at one at a time. It just depends. Mm. Cool. And if anything, you can donate through Hearts Across Atlanta on Facebook. Hearts Across Atlanta on Facebook. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Well, if, if you got a second to grab that guitar that I saw leaning against <laughs> the, the barn over there, we'd love to hear a quick I, song. I know, he doesn't, I know he doesn't keep that uh, guitar against the barn normally. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, you might have guitars stashed everywhere. So While he's getting the guitar, did you hear that? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> did you hear that bird caw when he I, said I about did. the birds? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that bird wanted to be heard. <laughs> you know, it's, it's so crazy because um, these moments like this where you're, you're contained, most of us have been contained for about four weeks now. Yeah. It's, uh, mm-hmm. It just shifts our thinking, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. Definitely. I believe we're going to come out of this. I do want to say one thing to um, the frontline uh, people out there. Um, without you, you see, God uses people. God is using you right now. He's the healer. He's the one that can save us all from this. And there are ones that are that have gone on and passed on that are with him. I'm just praying for those families who've lost family members who are still suffering the frontline uh, people in the hospitals, as well as those serving others, and um, the graduates that were supposed to graduate this year, mm-hmm. the students, and for everybody in the world, Jesus is our healer. Mm. That's so uh, good. What song you got for us, Jason? You ready? Yeah. All right. This is Healer. I was broken down at home. I had nowhere to go, kept on running from forgiveness, going down that lonely road, but in my weakness he is stronger, in darkness he is light, let it shine, let it shine, Jesus you're my healer, savior and forgiver, breaker of all chains, holy is your name. You're my healer, savior and forgiver, breaker of all chains. Holy is your name, holy is your name. See, now normally I'm attached to some headphones, right? But I can do this. <laughs> There's hope in our redeemer. There is freedom in his eyes, and I finally found forgiveness. Raise your hand, guys. Let me testify. Cause in my weakness, he is stronger. In the darkness, he is light. Let it shine. Let it shine. Jesus, you're my healer, savior, and forgiver, breaker of all chains. Holy is your Jesus, you're my healer, savior and forgiver, breaker of all chains. Holy is your name, holy is your name. Never let me down. What freedom I have found.
Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Thank you, Jason. We got to go to a break. We appreciate you so much. Hey, check out Jason's stuff. Go to Facebook and Jason we'll have music. Yeah. Jason Fowler music. And we'll get you back on in a couple of weeks. We'll check on you. See how you guys All are right, doing. Buddy. You guys take care. All right. Love, love you. your family. Hey, we'll Love be back. I'm Rick Probst. And I'm Dan Ratcliffe. Uh, this is Faith Talk Live.